Hi, welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom, and we're going to continue in this video from where we left off at our last video. And what we need is we need some of this information to stay. But I'm going to turn it off for a bit, and then we're going to bring it back up when we need it. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to turn this off. Or let me pick up. What we showed is we showed that based on our example, the, fundament, the four fundamental spaces are actually the four orthogonal fundamental spaces. The column space perpendicular to the null space, the left null space, and the row space perpendicular to the null space. So is this true in, in general? And the answer is yes, but in math, well, we can't just say it is because I had a good example that I was able to draw. That would be handy. Instead, what we have to do is we have to prove this. So let's show, show, show that, I'm gonna just work with the uh, row space. Show that the row space, the row space, which is the column space of A transpose, is orthogonal, is orthogonal to, what do I want? To the null space of A. Okay, I wanna work with A for a little bit. Let's, let's work with A. Um, well, notice this, um, A, a is the matrix with columns, like it has a column of A1, it has a column A2. We'll just take A3. You could take this out to AN if you wanted, but that seems like enough for now, okay? And then let's do this. So also, and, so if X is in the null space of A, X is in the null space of A, then, then what do I have? Oh yeah, then, I'm sorry, a x equals zero. Oh, and I have another and, and notice this, notice this. A transposed, a transposed means you take row, column one becomes row one, so it's a one transpose. And it's the column two becomes row Two. So now these are row vectors, and A3, the third column, becomes the third row. So these are now row vectors. These are rows. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just try this. Let's just try this. Let's just say this. We have A times x is equal to, to zero. We know that, don't we? We do. We know that this is true. Well, um, I don't, let's write it this way, so maybe I can go, need some more space. How about this? If I write this as zero equals a times x for x in the null space of a. Okay, well, the a has rows, right? It has, uh, it has a, a row one, and it has a row two, and even a row three. And we're multiplying this by the vector x. Well, this is the same as row one, row one dotted with x. And then this is row two being dotted with x. And this is equal to row three dotted with x. Well, wait a minute. What do each one of those rows equal? It just says right on the left-hand side, it says that they're each zero. Well, hold on a minute. Not only that, but row one, row one is a one transposed x. And row two dotted with x is a two transposed dotted with x, and that's a3 transpose times x. In other words, in other words, the rows of a, the rows of a dotted with x all give me zero. And so you can say that the row space is perpendicular to the null space. Now, there's another way to, there's another way to write this, and let's give that a try. So another way we could write this is, is this. 
Um, oh, let's do, we're gonna, we'll do the same one here and then we'll leave um, the other two spaces, the, the uh, column space and the uh, left null space as an exercise for, for, class, uh, for homework. So how about this? Let's say show. So we're gonna show again, show that the row space, column space of A transpose is orthogonal to the null space of A. Okay, so let's, let's see here. So anything, um, well, let's remember, so what does this mean? So the null space of A means the X, X in the null space of A means AX equals zero, okay? And the column space, the column space of A transpose is the linear combinations, lin oops, the linear combinations, it's the linear combinations of the columns of A transposed. So um, we're just going to take some y. So you, um, so then so represent these rep represent a vector a vector in column space of a transpose as a transpose y. Now. Uh, it's easy to default to x, but think about x probably has a different dimension than n. Uh, y would be of m components, and x would be of n components. So we, the y has to be different than the x to prove the general case. Well, let's just try that. In, in other words, what happens, so the question is, is what happens... What happens with x transpose, so that's just something in the null space, times something in the row space? Well, let's remember that um, matrix multiplication or vector multiplication is associative. So this is x transposed a transposed times y. And that, what is that? Oh, look at that. That we can rewrite as AX transposed Y. Well, wait a minute. We're done. Because look at what we just said right up above. If you have AX, that's zero. Well, this is just zero transposed Y. Well, you multiply those two together, the dimensions would work as we expect. And the result is the zero just zero, not even the zero vector, it's just zero. That's it, that's what a dot product or an inner product should be, it should just be zero, where zero is very simply just a number, the number, just a real number, okay? So we have shown in general now that the column space, the row space is perpendicular to the null space of A. You know what we're gonna do? is we'll stop here and in the next video we're going to go back to our previous example and work with work with it i hope that helps thanks for watching